What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you my video gear. So this is not a review because I'm not going to go in depth in each device. Uh, so it's gonna be about my camera and my tripod. So let's start with the camera. This is the Sony HDR-CX130. It records directly to a SD card. Uh, so some of the specs are it has a Sony G lens. Uh, the lens it has 30x optical zoom so the great thing about this camera is it could record videos really quickly and it focuses really quickly it has a 3 inch touch screen so I'm able to uh, tap on a subject and it will be able to focus within seconds that that's really great for tech youtubers so I could focus on a phone I could focus on any devices really quickly but the bad thing about this camera is that it records in AVC HD. That's great if you're recording outside a soccer game, something that you could show on a TV. But it's not great for web or for YouTube because the file size is really big and it's really hard to edit that on your computer. It requires a lot more hardware than MP4 or H.264. So it's really hard for me to edit an AVC HD video, but the only software that really works great is Final Cut Pro 10. I use a 2012 MacBook Pro. The specs are equivalent to like a $600 laptop, so the specs aren't really that great. I am not able to use any other video editing software besides Final Cut Pro 10. So I, I, I edit the video in 720p because it's much easier to edit a video in 720p and than 1080p. So this camera records in multiple format. Uh, to, I'm not going to go super in depth, but it has standard definition 1080i and 1080p. There is no 720p. So for standard definition, I'm able to record it in 4x3 aspect ratio or 16x9. That's not really relevant to me because I'm not going to record a video in high quality rather than high definition, especially now that people are going into 4K. So there are several different 1080 mode. You could record it in 1080i or 1080p. On 1080i, there is four different modes. The mode that I use is the standard mode. That's what the mode usually is when you buy the camera. And there is also a 1080p 60p mode. It should, uh, the video on 1080p 60p looks really great, but the file size is really big and it's really hard to edit that in my computer. So it's 1080p at 60 frames per second. It's great for slow motion, but it's really hard to edit. So like I said, I recorded in 1080i 60i. So this camera is great because there is a lot of manual option. I am able to change the focus, the exposure, the aperture, uh, all that stuff. But the only way to access all those settings is by using the touchscreen. There is no manual knob or button, so you have to do all those stuff with the touchscreen. But the good thing about it is the auto option is really great. So even if you change anything on the uh, on the camera option, you could change, you could revert it back by just pressing the auto button corner and it will go back to automatic everything. So it does have a tripod mount. Every camera has a tripod mount these days. And uh, I'm able to use my tripod, use the quick release and put it quickly into my tripod and put it back really easily. So now let's move on to the tripod. I do not like my tripod. I believe this tripod costs about $40 from Best Buy. I, I haven't really looked much deeper into tripod before buying that one so it's not really a good tripod uh, the footage that, that you see require a lot of work to make it really smooth uh, it helps because this camera has optical image stabilization so even if the footage is kind of jerky it automatically makes it a lot better so this is not the only camera that I use. I also have another camera that I use for B-rolls and other footage, uh, like this one. That's the Sony SX160HS. It's mainly used for taking pictures, but it does record 720p video at 25p. So it doesn't really record videos that well. 
uh, the colors are not very accurate and the footage don't look very sharp but I like it because the footage is very easy to edit so now let's go on to my channel update I haven't really been making a lot of video for the last year I have been making some money from YouTube so I'm gonna try to make one video every week and on this week I'm gonna try to make a video every single day that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching.